Good day everyone, this is Craig with Rides Done Right, and we're in Puyallup, Washington at the Northwest Rotorama, and this is Bruce Wanta, and owner of, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And uh, you have a 36 Packard, it's called the Mulholland Speedster. That's correct. It's won everything in the world I can think of. <laughs> it's an amazing car, just absolutely over the top, I mean, it's, this is like absolutely, it's got to be one of the best cars I've ever seen. I'm just so impressed with it. Thank you very much. Yeah, we've had a lot of fun with this car. It debuted last year at the Grand National Roadster Show, where it won America's Most Beautiful Roadster. Since then, it's gone on to win World's Most Beautiful Custom, uh, Custom de Elegance, lots of other amazing awards. So it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. I mean, there isn't anything that uh, I can think that I've ever seen where it didn't win. It, you won in Chicago, right, too? It, yes, it won in Chicago. It was the first time the contemporary Riddler and Amber car had ever competed side by side. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we won that show in Chicago. It was great fun there. Took it on to uh, Hot August Nights later last year, and uh, we won there. So it was a lot of fun. Congratulations on all the win. It's, it's well deserving, absolutely well deserving. And I, I've seen you out here. You're like me. You get around the car and you want to explain the, the car, features of the cars right. to two people. I, I just like that interaction with the owners. It's actually kind of unusual. You don't really see that that often. I, I'm really encouraged. Thank you for being out here. Happy to be here. And so, when you go through the car, so uh, let's let's. It's this is a coach built car, right? I mean. It's, I noticed you started with a Packard, right? But how much of the Packard is there and how much of it is actually coach? I mean, tell me, how did sure. that go? So the car was uh, designed first in our head. Um, I had an idea of walking a show with, uh, with uh, Troy Ladd at Hollywood Hot Rods of what I wanted to build. And I showed him the car and I said, I want something like this. It was a 39 Ford we were looking at. And I said to him, uh, that's kind of the shape I'm going for. And he said, well, we can build that car. And I said, but I want a Packard grill. And he looked at me like nobody hot rods a Packard. And I said, I think the Packard has the prettiest grill ever put on a car. I want to build a hot rod out of a Packard. So we went from there and uh, we used uh, Eric Black uh, down in Portland to actually design the car. So he came up with some early sketches and then we went hunting for the closest Packard that fit those sketches. Okay. Found the car, the donor car in Chicago, and we actually cut up a real Packard to make this car. Wow. Um, so there are real pieces of the Packard throughout the car. Okay. But, um, but many pieces were just coach built, coach built from scratch. The running boards were gone, we had reshaped those so much. We actually just built those from scratch. If you look at the front fender, I think there are 17 pieces of original Packard steel and new steel all mixed together, nice. stitched to make one fender. But okay. but it's it, the DNA of the car is throughout. Oh wow! Yeah, that's amazing. Okay, so it it, it, it wasn't just a, a dream and, and from scratch coach built up. It you started with something which which is nice that you have that that history of a car right there. And Absolutely, and more importantly, when you're doing that, what you get is the, the, the sense of the shape of the car. Yeah. So, you know, we started with the original fenders, we narrowed them, we modified them, but the whole time, what we wanted to do was create a really elegant hot rod, and we wanted something that, you know, would have been, you know, built in the 30s, literally, yeah. you know, that a Hollywood star would have yeah. jumped out of yeah. and, and actually, you know, uh, driven. So. That we were trying to create a car that when somebody stood back and looked at it, said, well, that kind of looks like something Packard would have built. Clearly they didn't, but... But they, that, should, they should have. Yes, they should have. <laughs> well, well, then then we just would have had to clean it up and, and, uh, and present it. So, so you know, that. But, but yes, it was all coach built that way. But then throughout the whole car, if you look at the door hinges, they're off the original Packard, the handles, the cowl, the... the um, interior of the car there's pieces throughout so so it truly is a hot rod because you've yeah. taken a car and you've done like so many hot rodders and and you've modified it you've demo extensively modified but you've modified it right so absolutely so the suspension is different the engine is different um, you might think of this as a car that back in the day you know kids took their parents old car and then they put a bigger engine from a newer car into it right yeah. Yeah. Well, we did the same thing. We just happened to start with a nicer car than maybe some would start with with a Packard. Um, but the engine is a V12 flathead from a Lincoln Zephyr. So yeah. we took out the straight eight and put in a higher performance engine um, like any hot rodder would have done back in the day. Right, right. And and you've done some modifications to the front end of that, right, to, to make that all the look you wanted, but it still had the room for the that 
V12, right. right? Right, so if you look at the car, the original grille was very straight up and down. It was a very stately car. It didn't look like a hot rod, so we canted the grill back. We actually gave it that hot rod kind of stance. We re-swept the front end of the car so it has a much more sweeping design, much more of an aggressive stance. Yeah, yeah, and it's just amazing. And you've got louvers. I've got a 33 Chevy with louvers on the side, and we were talking about this, and how they automatically open up. And you've got a number of different mechanisms. I've got the one. It just, when the fan turns on, they open up. You've got some overrides. We do. Um, so I, um, I'm a gadget guy. So we, uh, the car has actually a full programmable controller inside to control all the functions of the car. And one of the things it controls are the louvers and the winter grill on the front of the car. So we can open and control them with a dashboard control. I've got a remote that I can open and close it. And then when the car is actually running, if the engine gets up to a certain temperature, the, the, the louvers automatically open. But the ultimate gadget, uh, you know, of talking about everything is that top. Amazing uh, uh, engineering work there and, and design, and, uh, and that just barely clears when it comes up. You've got the notch in the, in the top of that just so it comes through. It's, <laughs> that, that had to be some work. It, it was a lot of work. So when, when Troy and I first started looking at this car that I, I showed him that I wanted to build, it was a hard top. And I said to Troy, I want to compete for Amber. And he says, well, if you're going to be America's most beautiful Roadster, Roadster doesn't have a hard top, so that's fine. We're going to make it removable. I really had a different idea in mind, but I didn't want to scare him off at the beginning of the build. So um, as we got further into it, I said, I actually want the top to disappear. And I showed him what I wanted to do, and he said, well, that's really not going to work. I said, I think we can make this work. So we, uh, we prototyped it up, we got it to work, and so the entire rear clamshell, the back deck lid of the car, flips open, the top flips 180 degrees, disappears um, in the back. And one of the cool features about that is if you look at most hard tops, when they go and they disappear, you've got like a filler plate that has to flip up and, right. and fill that space. Right. By flipping the top 180, I actually created a second filler plate on the bottom side of the package tray. So when it flips over, it creates its own filler space. That is so cool, that mechanism. We'll, we'll show video of that when, it, when it's uh, in, in motion. So just an amazing car. The underside is every bit as nice as the top side. And, and that's very important. That otherwise, you're just not going to be competing for Amber. But you, you, you know. But so, the, and the way you displayed it at the in Pomona right. for the show with the, the split deck kind of thing, mm -hmm. that was really nice. Thanks. So that was um, the the actually the display was also an idea of mine. Um, I never feel like when I get to go to these shows that the nicest cars are are visible for people to see, and I want people to see the cars. So. Yeah. We actually designed the display so that people could walk right next to the car, lean into the interior, look around the car. They weren't kept away from the car. So by doing a split top or split deck to, to show the car, we were able to show the underside on one side, but then still show how the car stands on the ground on the other side. Yeah. So when you look at the underside of the car, it's all uh, C-channel. There's no tubular steel, so it all looks like it was built back in the 30s as yeah. a car actually would have been made and the suspension's all a period correct quarter elliptical suspension. The car does raise and lower, but it's all done with hidden actuators that you can't see. It was another engineering idea that I had and we were able to implement. All these, all these thoughts and details, it's, uh, how many years did it take? Uh, this was about a six year build. Um, you know, a little longer than I originally anticipated, but I think that's true with everybody's hot rod build. Mine was supposed to be one year, it turned into 13, so. <laughs> you have me beat. <laughs> well, and if I would have tried to do something like you did, it would have been 23 years, I think. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, you did pretty good. Okay. <laughs> so, well, it's been a pleasure. Uh, thank you so much for bringing the car out. Absolutely, it's and coming out. Oh, this has been a real pleasure. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you, folks. We'll catch you next time.